What's up guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are talking about how you can manage to get the best possible motion tracking for text in LumaFusion. And there is definitely no better method than this. Until LumaTouch will update LumaFusion and will add a motion tracker of course. And of course if you want to have very cool text boxes, texts, uh, fonts etc. for your LumaFusion uh, go and check out my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle up there. It will contain a lot of slots, text boxes, text effects, transitions, sound effects. Whatever you need in LumaFusion, it will be in there. So go and check it out. But that's not the only thing. I'm After the tutorial, I'm going to talk about and show you why we can go to this specific point, but not further. So. Be excited and give thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any video in future. Now into LumaFusion. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I managed to get a good result until the point where the island disappeared. So we have two layers, one drone clip and one title layer. The title layer has of course a title with a text looks like this. The text episode is the only text I want in the final image. The bars beneath are just there to get a good measurement, to get as precise as possible. Okay. Now we are going into frame and fit and we are going to the first frame. And now we are searching for positions in, or in the image, points in the image we can use to drag the text. As we want the text in the middle of the image, we don't have that much options. We could use the horizon, we could par use parts of the mountain, or we could use these islands down there. And I decided to use the waterline in the horizon as a marking point for the text. In this case, I used the lower end of the S because it has a flat surface. I can perfectly match to the horizon. The last step is to get rid of these bars because we don't need it. Therefore, just edit the text and delete the bars. And then you could either rematch the position or just go into the text editor and uh, yeah, add empty text so it has the same size than before. And that's pretty much it. Super easy. But it's not done yet. Now I'm going to talk about why it won't be possible to can go further than this and these white points at the islands. So now I've put the text in the right side size and now I moved on like to the last point right here where the island will disappear and I remanage the tracking. So I put the S to the horizon and the last bar to the white point on the island and that's pretty much it. And now what you're doing, it won't be perfect because it's a linear growth of the text but the island won't grow linear. It will start coming near slowly and then going faster because of the physics of the lens. So what you have to do, you have to use intermediate steps, in this case these keyframes here, to match the uh, yeah, your markers. And that's pretty much it. This is by far the most precise way to motion track in LumaFusion. So we are in a project I've created and it's only there to show you why um, Peter McKinnon style episode titles won't work in LumaFusion. So at first I'm going to explain you how I did it. So I've chosen a drone clip with a very consistent speed with the same height. So it's very fluent and we don't need a lot of repositioning of the text with keyframes. So what I did, I created a title with big letters and some bars beneath it as a position marker. So we have five bars and 
I used them yeah, as a measurement. And what I did is I said the lower part of the S of the episode text has to be on the horizon of the water line, so right in the back here. And the fifth bar has to be on the white dot on the first rocky island. I'm going to scroll a bit forward so you can see it better. So the S has to be in the water line and the last bar has to end on a white point. Therefore, it's pretty easy to make it very fluent because as I always keep in mind putting the S to the horizon and the uh, last bar to the white point, we get a very fluent growth of the text. But there's the point where it's getting tricky because once the island has disappeared behind the camera lens, um, I have no option to track the uh, to track the text manually. And why it's so difficult to go on from here is because of the wide angle of the lens, it's not a linear growth. So from that point, the text has to grow very fast because when it's right above the island, I have to go through the text at one point and that's not possible with LumaFusion unfortunately yet. I hope they will bring a feature, a motion tracking feature uh, in future but at this point it's only possible to track objects you can see to the point they disappear. So from there to there it looks pretty good but from that on it's just horrible. I will show you. It's just not possible to make it uh, nice because I don't know exactly when the point is the camera has to fly through the text. On the other hand, with this method, as you use bars as markers, you can delete later on, it's pretty cool how fluent the text will grow um, until the point it, uh, the island disappears or the, the, your marking spot disappears. It's so fluent, it looks pretty good and I really like it and I think that's the best way to motion track in LumaFusion. Okay, this was the tutorial and the afterward following uh, explanation why we can go to the point until our marking point disappears out of the image and not further. I know it's pretty sad but yeah, that's what we can do right now. So. I'm, I hope Luma Touch will update LumaFusion soon and we can go to a next level. Until then, get thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell to don't miss any video in future and we are seeing each other in the next video. Bye!